Hello and welcome to the lecture series on data compression. I am Alok Tiwari, Assistant Professor, CSE Department. In this lecture, we are going to see that how we can measure the performance of a data compression algorithm and we will see in brief how you do modeling of the algorithm and how you do coding. So a compression algorithm can be evaluated on various parameters. Some of the parameters are the memory required to implement that algorithm. Okay. See, uh, in this we are evaluating the space complexity of that algorithm. The second one is how fast the algorithm runs on a given machine. Okay. So this is called your time complexity of the algorithm. The third one is the amount of compression needed. Okay. We will discuss it in a bit in this uh, lecture and the resemblance. Okay. The resemblance of output with input. Suppose that uh, this is your uh, uh, data compression system and you have given an input as an image. Okay. Now you obtained a compressed image. Then you will measure the similarity between this output and input. Whether this output image is able to retain all the informations that were provided by this input image or not is measured by the resemblance of output with input. Okay. Now see uh, now as we discuss that you are uh, giving an input to an algorithm to a compression algorithm okay and you are obtaining an output okay so to represent this input you will be requiring some number of bits let us call uh, call it as b of i this is the number of bits required to represent the input image or uh, input you can take anything as input uh, it could be a string it could be an image or anything and uh, the total number of bits required to represent this output will be o of i then this ratio of o of i to b of i this is called your compression ratio okay the ratio of total number of bits needed to represent the output upon the total number of bits needed to represent the input is called as the compression ratio. So this is a very important parameter on which we measure the performance of an algorithm. For example, let us suppose that you are given an input image. The image is of dimension 256 cross 256. Now you are going to use an algorithm which will compress it in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So this 4 pixels will be mapped to a single pixel. Okay. So for the output your output image will contain 256 cross 256 by 4 which will be equal to I think uh, approximately 16,000 something ok. So this is uh, your input which was of approximately 65,000 and your input is of 60, uh, 16,000. So the compression has taken place and it is of the ratio 4 is to 1. See you must be doing this compression in your day to day life on your paint editor or on your uh, or any editor you are using the comp uh, compressor okay to reduce the size that is what we will be learning in this uh, throughout this course that how you can compress the size of that input and uh, get the output of your desired now you must have read that there are two type of compression techniques the first one is lossless and the second one is lossy okay in the lossless all the features of the input are retained and can be correctly matched with the output but in the lossy you lose some of the features of the input okay you will be removing some of the features that are not uh, that you your algorithm think is not that much important so it will remove so you will lose some of the information okay you see there are various methods available for coding of this uh, uh, data compression algorithms you will be reading about this in the next few lectures some of them are Huffman coding. Okay, you must have read about it in the in the data structure course. Okay, the other one are 
राइस कोड गोलम कोड ओके एंड देर आर मेनी मोर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दीज कोड्स इन द अपकमिंग लेक्चर्स यू विल हैव अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन ईच ऑफ दिस कोडिंग टेक्निक्स ओके सो द मेन गोल ऑफ दिस लेक्चर वॉज टू इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट द कंप्रेशन रेशियो ओके कंप्रेशन रेशियो which is the ratio of the total number of bits required to represent the output image upon the total number of bits required to represent the input image okay see as i have told you that compression ratio is the total number of bits required to represent the output upon total number of bits required to represent the input okay so uh, so there must be a difference between these uh, number of bits so this difference between the original image okay and reconstructed image okay which you have uh, on which you have implemented uh, implemented the data compression technique and obtained a new image that will be called as your reconstructed image so the difference between these two is called distortion just remember this term most of the time it is asked in examination some of the other terms that are important is the one is called fidelity and the next one is quality okay so you must be aware of this term quality okay that is a synonym of fidelity it means that whenever the difference between the reconstructed image and original image is very small okay the difference between reconstruction image reconstructed image and the original image not about the number of bits it's about the quality okay when it is very uh, small that is called the fidelity then it will be said as the quality of the image is very high okay so that's all for today's lecture see you in the next lecture till then thank you and goodbye